1990 P. Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 67 with full steps by PCGS. According to PCGS, the 1990 P. Jefferson Nickel has a very high mintage. In MS-65 condition and lower it is very common. However, in MS-66 with full steps it is scarce. In MS-67 with full steps it is really scarce with very few examples known and none graded in any higher condition by PCGS. This one ended up selling for $1,116.25. Number 7. 1943s Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 67 plus by PCGS. While the two under digit is faint, doubling on the 94 of the date serves as a ready diagnostic for this variety. FS101 is classified as an overdate and as a double die, since dates were hub during this era overdates occurred only when the entire working die was re-impressed by a hub. This high-end superb gem is a condition census example of the variety. Brilliant, pristine surfaces yield proof-like fields and satiny devices, with sharp detail throughout. It was sold for $3,840. Number 6. 1941 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in Mint State 66 read by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, Cherry Pickers lists three double die obverse varieties for the 1941 Philadelphia cent. Within that trio, FS103 appears to be the rarest in Mint State. It also exhibits the widest doubling on the date, evident west of the upper curl of the 9 in the date. At the MS66 red level, FS103 is an important conditional rarity. Just six pieces are graded MS66 red by PCGS, with only two coins finer at that service as MS66 plus red. NGC has certified a single mint state red example, at the MS65 level. A splendid peach gold premium gem with virtually flawless surfaces. This specimen was sold for $5,040. Number 5. 1990s Washington Quarter with Double Die Obverse. Graded as PR70 Deep Cameo by PCGS. Strong doubling is apparent on the date and mint mark, and this silvery example is every bit as pristine as the grade implies. It was sold for $7,050. Number 4. 1919s Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 Plus Red by PCGS. The 1919s is scarce in gem red condition, and only a handful of finer red coins are known. This plus designated piece is near the condition census of red examples. Sharply struck devices and satiny amber red luster characterize the eye appeal. A few faint, grayish toning specks are discernible with a loop but none are in prime focal areas. It ended up selling for $9,300 on November 6, 2023. Number 3. 1971 Jefferson Nickel with Missing Mint Mark S. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. Afflective fields and nickel rose devices provide optimal contrast on this error S less proof nickel. Probably no more than a few hundred examples are known in all, although records are lacking. The no S proof coins are a specialized pursuit, but some collectors run avidly after these pieces on the rare occasions when they surface at auction. This superb gem fetched a sum of $7,637.50. Number 2. Attractively toned proof 1950 Washington quarter in PR69 condition. Strike is needle sharp and surfaces are almost flawlessly preserved. Each side is brilliant, adding to the beautifully toned appearance. This is single finest non-cameo proof specimen certified by PCGS. It was sold for $19,687.50 with buyer's fee. Number 1. 1922 No D. Lincoln sent with strong reverse. Graded in mint state 64 brown by PCGS. Die pair 2. The second 2 in the date is sharp on this die pair, and the reverse wheat ears are crisp, a product of a new die. According to Heritage Auctions, the No D. coins from die pair 2 are highly sought after and rare in high grade. This satiny walnut brown example displays modest luster and is well struck. Softness on Lincoln's portrait is due to the erosion of the obverse die. This is one of the most prominent guide book varieties in the series. It is often collected as a separated issue from the normal mint mark issue, even though both varieties were struck at Denver. This specimen was sold for $31,200. Thanks for watching this video. Please make sure to hit like and subscribe buttons before you continue your daily YouTube journey. God's will, see you in the next episode.